Hi, I'm Don Cottom with 323 Link. We specialize in high-level integrations of Zoom, a cloud-based video conference platform to integrate both with current and existing H323 platforms or video conference systems you may already have, with current infrastructure, uh, and then also helping you bring desktop and mobile devices into scenarios for larger conferences via video. Uh, we also can help with single sign-on, uh, how to turn this system into a full lecture capture platform, integrating that with Google Drive and other platforms, uh, and we can help with some of the more complicated matters with single sign-on and other integrations with Slack and other platforms. Uh, we provide all the hardware and turnkey solutions to do all this. Today I want to talk about Zoom rooms. And so part of the point of this platform is to be able to bring in 323 endpoints, but also bring in all your clients. Another, uh, a couple other very powerful components of this is the ability to turn a, a conference room into a full audiovisual presentation system without wires. Um, you give it also the video conference functionality and you can eliminate all of your audio conferencing costs by utilizing Zoom as your platform for audio calling. So I'm going to go ahead and share my presentation with you. Uh, I am recording with Zoom currently for this recording. And you'll notice I also have green screen functionality that's built into the application behind me uh, where I'm showing our skyline here in Nashville where our headquarters is. Um, so Zoom is very, very simple platform. We can go into uh, any existing conference room if it has a flat panel or display or projector. We put in either a Mac Mini or an Intel Nook. We turn that device, that computer, into a Zoom room. It effectively becomes almost like a video conference codec, but we're utilizing off-the-shelf computer hardware. Then we also install an iPad over your wireless network with a free application that turns that iPad into a touch control panel for the room. And then we can normally utilize USB-based cameras, which are high quality 1080p or 720p HD cameras. And we typically ceiling mount microphone speaker units, depending on the size of the room. Uh, it's a very simple and clean installation. And Zoom gives us the ability to manage all of those endpoints and as an administrator, we get notifications when we do have problems with the systems. Um, so it gives you the ability to uh, get alerts if something's going wrong with the room. So it's a very simple configuration. We, uh, we, but again, it runs currently on PC and Mac uh, as our primary platforms. If you have a house computer uh, in the room already, uh, we can utilize just the client version um, but this gives you that nice look and feel and your price point ranges between about $1,500 all the way up to if you put in like large 70 inch dual displays, uh, you can get rooms up to about six or $7,000, but it's much, much less expensive than traditional video conference. Plus you get wireless presentation functionality in the room and audio conferencing functionality in the room, utilizing the exact same system and reduce all those costs. Here's some examples of some rooms. Um, again, we normally put the iPad into some kind of stand uh, that keeps it kind of locked into the room. Um, we also, by the way, as an administrator, get uh, notifications if that iPad has been unplugged or is low on power, or if a camera or a microphone has been unplugged. Uh, we have, there's a full suite in the back end of this for reporting and for notifying you when there's issues. Um, but you know, it's a very simple, clean installation put this stuff in. And so instead of having that $10,000 video conference hardware codec and all the peripherals and everything that comes with it, we take a small computer, iPad, and just integrate that into the room. And it's very simple and clean. Once you've seen how this is done the first few times, typically um, a lot of people's IT staffs will start to install these themselves. Um, so it's a very simple installation. As far as scheduling, there is full integration with Outlook. Um, you also can schedule events on the iPad or in the web browser uh, or at your computer. Uh, those events, if they're a scheduled event for the iPad, um, those events will show up on the iPad itself, letting them know there's a meeting. And when a call comes in, and let's say the displays were turned off for some reason, the iPad actually flashes red to let you know in the conference room somebody is attempting to call you at that time. 
So um, again, it's a one tap launch calls. You select your users, you hit join or call, and that connects you into that session. You can also call any of your traditional 323 endpoints. Uh, and then there's also a, a full integration with Google if you use Google as your back end as well. Um, now, again, that touch panel acts like a high end control system. So instead of spending the six to $10,000 for that setup and that custom programming that you're kind of locked to, this gives you the ability to use a free software you put on any iPad and you now have a nice control panel for roughly anywhere from $299 to $399, depending on which version of the iPad you buy for this basic functionality. You have the ability to use multiple displays. You can go single display. Like many cases, people will use a 70 inch, which is about a $1,200 uh, display now, um, in a conference room, which is more than adequate for many huddle rooms. You can go to dual displays or triple displays and get that feel of a full telepresence system. But in essence, you didn't really spend any more money on the computer hardware or any of the devices. You just added another display and we just take another display port out of the computer into that third and final display. So again, very, very simple. And other devices, when they're in the room, can share content to the front of the room. So if you're not in a video call and you just wanna use the system as a presentation system, you can hit present and then you can push devices. Um, number one, you can push them over the network where you can full screen scrape an iPad, uh, or you can go to share.zoom.us from any device and push that content to the front of the room as well. And that way, if your wireless and hardwired network don't speak, you can still broadcast the content to the front of the room. Display scenarios, when you're doing three displays, you can go into the web interface and you can customize how those layouts look during different calls and events. So you can preset all of this stuff into the back end and you do get full reporting out of Zoom on your usage, on different things that happen with bandwidth utilization or packet loss. So lots of great tools to analyze uh, how the call went. Um, so if you have any additional questions about Zoom Room, uh, please contact us at 866-323-3269. If you wanna contact me directly, my name is Don Cottom. I can be reached at 615-310-3969 and go to our website at 323link.com. Uh, we also have a full store for you to purchase some of these USB peripheral devices and we can assist you uh, remotely if you wanna do your own installations um, to make sure everything's configured properly and set up, setting up your backend and portal. Well, have a great day and thanks for checking out our Zoom Room video uh, with 323 link.